going on guys in this video we are going to see an example on op amp circuit and in op amp circuit if you remember these three rules it will make everything easier the first rule is no current ever flows into or out of the inputs so we know that this is zero and also out of the input that's also zero and then whatever the voltage you have on one input will be on the other input and let's say if we assume this node let's say this is V2 and let's say this is V1 and since we don't have the current right here this one also V1 right it's V1 right here and since we don't have current in between here this is going to be V2 and this says whatever the voltage you have on one input will be on the other input so according to the second rule we know that V1 is going to be equal to V2 right that's what it's saying now that, that's it that's all we need to know this one when we have the greater than values something like that but in this question we don't need that now let's look at this one v1 is equal to v2 and this one now we are trying to find v0 now what we have to do is we have to apply Kirchhoff's current law in each nodes right here right you can assume any current direction and in this case I'm just going to randomly assume directions so let's say this is going this direction this direction and let's say this is this direction this direction and this direction okay now for the first one let's apply the curve of current law for the first one kcl1 okay so here this is going into this so v0 minus v1 over the resistance is 2 okay so v1 v0 minus v1 over 2 that's entering so entering must be equal to exiting so exiting these two are exiting right this is equal to exiting the first one is 0 and the other one is v1 minus 0 because the reference node is always going to be 0 right 0 voltage so this is uh, 0 voltage so 4 min v1 minus 0 over 4 so we can write just v1 over 4 and this is for the first uh, first node now let's look at the second node second node now before I go for that I, it's better to keep simplify this one so to simplify everything we can multiply this one by 4 in that way we can get rid of the denom denominators so this is going to be 2 V0 minus 2 V1 is going to be equal to 2 V1 okay so this is what we have for the first one now let's also we can simplify this one as 2v0 and if I move this v1 to this side that's going to be negative 3v1 is equal to 0 so this is for the first node now let's look at the second node second node I don't have space right here I write this v1 is equal to v2 on top and I continue this second part right here okay KCL2 KCL2 if you look at this one whatever the current entering must exit so 0 is entering and this one is entering that is V0 minus V2 over 8 and then this is entering that is 6 minus V2 6 minus V2 over 6 and exiting is v2 minus 0 over 12 so that's going to be just v2 over 12 okay now let's simplify this one to simplify this one we can multiply everything by the 24 if you multiply by 24 the, we can get rid of this 8 2 right so multiply everything by 24 and if you multiply you will get this is going to become 3 v0 minus 3 v2 and this is going to become 4 times 6 that's going to be 24 minus 4 v2 and this is going to be 2 v2 and if you simplify this one furthermore let's add everything like, uh, uh, like terms 3 v0 remains the same and 3 v2 minus 4 minus 3 v2 minus 4 v2 minus 7 v2 and if we move this 2 v2 to this side that's going to be minus 9 v2 and here we have 24 and we can move this number to the other side so that will make these things easier right it's going to be equal to negative 24 and uh, we can simplify this one if we can divide this one by 3 
So if we multiply, or you can say multiply by 1 over 3. 1 over 3 and that's going to give us this is going to become just v0 minus v2 is equal to negative h. So this is our second equation. 3v2, right? 3v2 is equal to negative h. Now if you look at this one, we have 2v0 minus 3v1 is equal to 0. And here we have v0 minus 3v2 is equal to negative h. And in the beginning we've seen that according to the second rule, Whatever the voltage you have on one input will be the other input. So V1 was equal to V2. We found out the relationship. And therefore we can change this one into V1. So we can solve this one easily, right? V, V0 minus 3 V1 is equal to negative 8. So this is our second equation. Now what we can do is we can, to get rid of this V1, we can subtract two of these equations. So V0 minus 3 V1 is equal to minus 8. Let's subtract subtract and that's going to give us v0 this is going to be 0 right if you subtract this 0 0 minus minus 8 that's going to be plus 8 so this is equal to 8 voltage that's the question right this is 8 voltage now from this information you can if you want to find v1 and v2 that's easy to find all you have to do is just plug it in this equation now let's uh, let's find it out so first one we know that uh, this one was, this is easier, 2v0 minus 3v1 was equal to 0, therefore we know that 2v0 is equal to 3v1, therefore v1 is going to be equal to 2v0 divided by 3, and we know we found out v0 is equal to 8 voltage, so 2 times 8 divided by 3, that's going to be 16 by 3, 16 divided by 3 is going to be 8 no no 5 so 5 is going to be 15 1 0 5.3 and 9 1 0 so 5.33 so this voltage is 5.33 voltage and according to this one we found out v1 is equal to v2 therefore this one also 5.33 voltage and that's how we solve open circuits i hope this helps thanks for watching